the food and drink sector um, five years ago, ten years ago, was seen as a uh, as a dark black hole of of part of the industry of, of part of Ireland's industry that had nowhere to go. Today, that's all changed. The food industry today is a, an area of huge opportunities. It's an area of international export opportunities. It's an area of of opportunities for domestic businesses to get up and running here in the Irish market. Uh, we have an inherent strength in food. The the international reputation is strong. The natural ingredients are is a great base to start to to make food. We've got some great, really high skilled uh, uh, food chefs uh, who really know about food and 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 that basic strength in Ireland as a nation uh, needs to be built on and I really believe food and drink uh, is not just as good as some of the, the high tech pharma sectors, all the other sectors that have, have, have been seen to be successful over the years. I don't think it's just as good, I think it's better. I think it's a better environment in which new businesses can start because of that inherent strength of Ireland as a, as a place to start a business. I think we, we desperately need to have a, a, a clear strategy, a, a joint up programme between all of the state organisations to work together to find a way to encourage multinationals to get involved in Ireland, uh, food companies, to encourage uh, senior professional uh, business leaders in multinational food businesses, perhaps Irish expats who want to get back to Ireland, uh, put a programme around supporting them, encourage them, um, uh, show them the scale of the opportunity, encourage Irish entrepreneurs, uh, domestic Irish entrepreneurs to, to look at food as a, a place where there are real opportunities. Um, I think in the longer run we need to encourage education and training around uh, management, around food technology, around all of the aspects of marketing, uh, branding, uh, the really important aspects of, uh, of starting up a business in Ireland and if, if those skills can be developed uh, it won't happen overnight. It won't, we can't expect it to happen overnight, but as those skills are developed and that base is strengthened, uh, the best graduates coming out of college should want to go into food because that's where the best opportunities exist. I think one of the key drivers for the recovery of the Irish economy is going to be the food and drink sector. We already see some great success in this area. We, uh, we know there's, there's continued success coming up. There's changes to legislation that will allow significant growth in dairy and in beef. Uh, there are some great examples of businesses setting up around the packaged food area. Uh, there are some drinks companies that are hugely successful on the international markets. Uh, we need to push those, we need to get those, make sure the environment is right for those businesses to, to do their job and be as successful as they can be. There are some great examples of really professional food entrepreneurs. Uh, some of the winners of uh, lots of award schemes come from the food industry, one most recent uh, uh, just last month, uh, Ray Coyle of Tato Largo won the uh, Ernst Young uh, Industry Entrepreneur of the Year uh, award, and within that, within that community of entrepreneurs, there's a, a whole host of food companies that are hugely successful. Uh, Cully and Sully, uh, two guys starting up a food business from nothing uh, a few years ago, now turning over literally uh, millions of uh, of euro on a, on a, a range of really good food products. Um, uh, there are lots of really professional senior. Uh, industry people working in food multinationals who should be encouraged to make the leap to pursue their dreams and, and start up a business. Uh, and and business, individuals like that, our teams of individuals like that, there is absolutely no reason why they can't start businesses that will be 20 million, 50 million, 100 million, the next generation of really substantial food businesses in Ireland. Ireland as a nation brand needs to be managed. It needs to be managed consistently across all of its, uh, all of its uh, stakeholders. Uh, food is one key stakeholder in that, uh, in that overall uh, image of Ireland's, uh, Ireland's reputation and Ireland's image internationally. Uh, the image of food and, and Ireland as a source of food, food coming from Ireland, drink coming from Ireland, uh, impacts on how Ireland is seen. Uh, that needs to be managed alongside how we promote FDI, uh, how we promote tourism. Uh, it needs to be managed in a coordinated way to, to do a job not unlike some other countries have, have managed to coordinate it in, in, in South Africa. Uh, they came through a very difficult period post-apartheid and have done a great job around brand South Africa. Um, New Zealand is always mentioned as an example. There are countries out there and there's expertise and some great expertise uh, here in Ireland and internationally who would be uh, more than delighted to get involved in, in programmes of, of uh, coordinating that activity. And, and food and board beer has a key role to play in that uh, to, to ensure that the, the image of Irish food, the image of Ireland as a source of food uh, is enhanced and, and optimised. Ireland's obviously currently going through a difficult economic time. There's a, there's a lot of issues, a lot of problems. Um, but just as we couldn't see the, the peak of the growth curves that we went through over previous decades, 
Uh, at the moment, we probably just can't see the bottom of the, the downward curve. Um, this cycle will pass. Uh, we will get through it and we need to take every advantage along this period of the transition to be in a position to really um, gain the maximum from the economic recovery that we will undoubtedly, inevitably, uh, go through. Uh, if we can strengthen our businesses, if we can strengthen our key sectors uh, during this period of change, we'll be really well positioned to take advantage of that recovery.